It's an honor to be here and to talk about this book and to talk about Mount Auburn. By the way, how many of you read about this event in the Globe? There was a great piece in the Globe, right? And there was a there was a wonderful portrait, a line drawing of Kim. I looked at that and I said, "Wow, look at that! She writes." One book. I've been at this for 40 years. I've never had a line growing. <laughs> so it, uh, I write novels, and I write long. When I was in Hollywood about 40 years ago, trying to write my way into the movie business by writing screenplays, uh, the producer would sit down with me and they'd talk with me and they'd give me advice and one day one of them said you know the way you write and when they say that to you grab your hat because you're on the way out the door the way you write you ought to write a novel I said well what do you mean they said well you just write them too long and I still write them too long and it takes me a long time to write them uh, Hank, you've been at this now for how long? About 10 years or so, and you're pumping one out every year. Uh, I have enormous respect for all of you writers who can do the, who can write a book uh, in a year. I've never been able to do it. It's taken me two, three, sometimes four years to write them. And sometimes when I'm writing them, I'm reminded of uh, a comment from Samuel Johnson in something called The Vanity of Human Wishes. Man lives from hope to hope rather than from experience to experience. So when I'm sitting there, as I was about an hour and a half ago, pushing ahead, pushing ahead, I'm just saying to myself as I'm writing, I hope I can finish this someday. I hope I can finish it, <laughs> rather than just enjoying the experience of writing it. So when John called me up and said, hey, how would you like to write an essay about the uh, Mount Auburn Cemetery, I thought to myself, I always write long. Here's a chance to write something short. Here's a chance to have a brief and intense writing experience. And then, of course, I did what Hank did and put the process off for as long as I possibly could. And I guarantee you that I, I delivered mine after you delivered yours. <laughs> but finally, one afternoon, I said, I have to go and do some research into this Mount Auburn Cemetery. So I went with John, I called him up, my wife Chris came along, and we went over to the Mount Auburn Cemetery where we had been before. And we began to wander and count the trees. You know, there are over 5,000 trees on those 175 acres. Some of the most amazing species of trees you'll ever find. Wonderful, wonderful sugar bushes with long alleys of sugar maples and European beaches and on and on and on. I could name them all for you. Uh, but I won't, we'd be here all night. Um, and I was just amazed by everything that I saw. And then I saw the hawk. A hawk that swooped down and sat on a headstone. A Celtic cross. On this Celtic cross with the words, Spes Unica, our only hope. Uh, words in reference to Christ. And there sat the hawk. And there it all was, embodied for me uh, as Samuel Johnson has embodied it in words. From hope to hope, rather than from experience to experience, the vanity of human wishes represented by that headstone and that hawk which represents experience. The hawk that takes off and flies and exists only for that moment. And those are the two ideas that came into the, uh, the writing of my essay. And uh, when it was done, I felt as if I had captured something and I had done it briefly. I was very happy about that. It only took me two days. That's short for me. And now it's in the book. You can read it. I urge you to read it. I urge you to read all of the wonderful essays from Gary and from Kate. And Kim and every, Hank and everyone else who's contributed. Ray is here. Ray Salami is here. Ray Daniel. And, and then take a walk over to Mount Auburn and walk along those pathways and under those trees and read those headstones. 
read about Fanny Farmer. Oh, and by the way, I want the recipe for the wine can. <laughs> Good luck. Any, anything that says wine dash anything has my attention. Look at the names. Consider the enormity of the contributions that these people made to our society, names which we've already mentioned here. And then look for your own hawk circling above that exists only to exist and feel the turning of the earth and then you will fully appreciate Mount Auburn. Thank you and John and Kim, thank you for letting us all work.